Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel, The Unplanned Life. Today in this video, I'm going to say goodbye to a fountain pen ink that I have always loved and used, but it has been discontinued for years. It is the Waterman South Seas Blue, and I first started using it right here on this Moleskine planner that I used in 2006. Obviously, I have a flip through of this planner and I will link it down below so you can see the full flip through of that 18 month planner if you're interested. But for the purposes of this video, I pulled up the actual video so we can see the ink more clearly right here. I started using it first on November 14 as this planner tells me. The first pen that I loaded it in is the Pelican M205 Demonstrator fountain pen, which I still have to this day. Now, over the years, I have depleted the ink and I have only a very small amount left, which I have decanted into this sample vial. I have been using this ink again lately in this Pelican M400 White Tortoise with the extra fine nib that writes like a medium because it writes so wet, which is why it's my favorite. I have a video about my stationary related perpetual favorites in the channel and I will link it down below. But right now, here is the ink level on this pen. It's very low and I can no longer load the ink into the pen the usual way, which is to submerge the entire nib and part of the section into the ink and then um, turn the um, piston knob to suck in the ink. I can no longer do that because the ink level on the sample vial is very, very low. And that is why I had to purchase this blunt edged syringe from Phoenix. I will link their online store below. Now, I know I can easily purchase a normal medical syringe from a drugstore here, but I am not very confident with my hands. My right hand isn't very functional and I am quite clumsy and I didn't want to accidentally inject myself with ink. So I chose to be safe and use this instead. It also came with a bunch of other things that you can use to clean your fountain pens for a very low price. But for my purposes, I only needed this. Editing this video now and looking at this particular clip, I am thinking in hindsight that I should have sucked up the ink with a syringe before taking the nib off of the pen, <laughs> but it worked okay this way anyway. I really love this ink and it holds a lot of memories for me and I don't want to throw out this last few remaining drops. I want to use up every single bit out of respect for this ink, especially because I can't buy it as Waterman South Seas Blue anymore. And here is the ink level inside the pen now after loading the last few drops of the ink in it using the blunt syringe. And I used this pen and this ink combo for a couple of a couple of days before I started to notice that it was starting to, you know, be completely gone. And that's when I decided to start writing a farewell journal entry in honor of this ink. Please keep me company as I write and I will put on some music for you. Now I know that this ink color actually continues to exist or continued to exist under a different name, under a different line, but still under the Waterman brand. But I don't feel like it's the same ink. I love the nostalgia of the old bottle, the old label, which I can never buy anymore. I have no plans to buy the new ink. 
This is it for the Waterman South Seas Blue in my life and I'm glad I've had it for as long as I have. It certainly kept very well, largely because I store all my inks properly, always in a cool dark place away from direct sunlight. As you can see, the ink has remained very bright, as bright as the ink on the planner from 2006, which is a testament to its quality. While writing, there were several times when I thought the pen was completely out of ink, but I would just shake the pen and then more ink would come out on the paper and I just continued writing. The final, final, final drop of that ink was just enough to write my name at the end of the journal entry, which is always how I end my journal entries, but it didn't have enough to write the time when I stopped writing the journal entry, so I just used this Pelican M205 Demonstrator Fountain Pen the very same pen that I mentioned near the beginning of the video to write down the time. This one has a different ink, of course. As you can see, the ink reservoir in the pen is completely empty and we have seen the last of Waterman South Seas Blue. I will certainly miss it and it will always hold a special place in my heart, but I have all the high resolution scans of my journal archives and my planner archives, so it will be easy for me to see all of the things that I have written with this ink over the decades. It's not going to be a total goodbye. Thank you for keeping me company in this video. Bye!